A two-year-long lifestyle intervention study is recruiting more older adults at risk of dementia. The Singapore Geriatric Intervention Study, or SINGER, aims to delay cognitive decline and physical frailty for those at risk. It involves intervention methods like cognitive training, nutritional guidance and exercise. More on this, let's talk to the Director of the Memory Aging and Cognition Centre at the National University Health System, Associate Professor Christopher Chen. Professor the Singer study is built, or rather is based on the Finnish geriatric intervention study to prevent cognitive impairment and disability. And the multi-domain interventions of these were adapted so that they fit into the Singapore context. But still, it's based on the Finnish study. What were the strengths of the study that, that, that I suppose drove you to use this study as your model and then adapt it to the Singapore context? Good evening. Thank you very much for allowing me to talk about Singer. You're right. Um, Finger was a very innovative and uh, extremely interesting study. And uh, when uh, we heard the results, uh, we were all tremendously excited, but then also uh, daunted by how we're going to translate this into our own countries. So, of course, there were many doubts as to whether these interventions performed in Finnish people in Finland would be acceptable and feasible in Singaporeans. Hence, we undertook a pilot study where we were able to demonstrate by comparing the finger interventions with the Singaporean adaptations that actually our elderly Singaporeans are immensely adaptable and they wholeheartedly accepted and found that the finger interventions were feasible and acceptable. That's why we were able to uh, write this up and demonstrate to the National Medical Research Council that we had established these interventions and obtained funding to do a much larger single study. Professor Chen, Professor Chen, there are multiple types of intervention involved here. Can you tell us something about them and what has been discovered from them to be the most effective combination, perhaps, uh, for reducing risk of dementia? Of course, I think we all uh, know that uh, in order to go and sort of live longer, healthier lives, there are a number of things we should do. These include exercise, uh, a better diet, uh, using your brain uh, frequently and effectively, um, managing your vascular risk factors and uh, socialization. But of course, knowing what's good for you doesn't necessarily translate to doing what's good for you. And I think that this is the real power of the finger study and the singer study, in that we have now taken on uh, methods to integrate all these interventions and roll them out all together rather than singly. And we also feel that we have methods, especially using uh, digital, digital uh, tablets and also the uh, our coordinators are able to advise uh, our elderly subjects on how to go and actually get fitter, uh, diet better, etc. We're able to actually get um, our subjects to do all these things and to maintain doing all these things. So it's not just a question of doing one thing well, it's a question of doing many things well and consistently. Professor Chen, I'm going to pick you up there. Now, as you mentioned, exercise, a better diet, use your brain, socialize. These things are good for everyone, not just the potentially uh, likely to get dementia uh, uh, part of the population. It's good for everyone, even someone my age. Uh, so when you say you found a way to integrate these things by your study or use digital apps to, I suppose, uh, improve use of these things, what exactly are you talking about? What did you do that we do not already know is so good for us? Well, I think the major issue is that uh, we are targeting uh, subjects, elderly subjects at risk of dementia. We're not targeting healthy young people like you because your risk of dementia will be far, far in the future. Uh, and of course, it's not just a matter of reducing cognitive impairment of dementia. The finger study was able to show uh, that not only could you improve your memory by about 25%, you could also increase your executive function by 80%, and your processing speed by 180% over the course of two years. But you could also reduce the risk of other chronic diseases um, by about 40%. So there are, of course, as you say, 
additional benefits apart from cognition and dementia. Now, we all know this, but the problem is, how do we actually do it? So the secret is not that we have a you know, magical way of doing it. I think the secret is that we have found uh, methods to encourage people to do uh, these um, interventions and to maintain uh, how they do it. And that is the part of the trial. Mm. There seems to be, I mean, no silver bullet to good health, uh, Professor Chen, but you're going to need willing participants for this with the right profile. How is your team going to go about recruiting those people? Well, we have already started uh, recruitment for over a year, and uh, gradually we've built up our expertise in how to recruit such subjects. Uh, the first thing, of course, we learned is that we can't find su such subjects in hospitals and in clinics. We actually rely on our partners in the community to help us uh, recruit subjects. And in particular, we are working very closely with uh, the Lions Befrienders, who are embedded in the community and have contacts with many elderly uh, folk who um, uh, require these kind of interventions. We also work with Active SG, which has a tremendous uh, uh, range of gym facilities across Singapore, and with uh, HUR, who are suppliers of gym, facility, uh, gym equipment, which can be um, uh, suitably uh, used by elderly uh, subjects. So we have found that uh, we are able to reach out to such subjects. We've also um, uh, garnered help from community centers, and we have now reached 370 patients. We need 1,200. And we're very confident that uh, we'll be able to reach our target by the end of next year, if not earlier. Oh, thanks so much for joining us. Associate Professor Christopher Chen from NUHS. Thank you.